prostate cancer. It will impact one in eight men. For some, that means surgery, and the technology has evolved over the years, including robots in the OR. I recently sat down with my surgeon to talk about the Da Vinci surgical system that promises a quicker recovery time with fewer risks for patients with prostate cancer. Inside the operating room at MedStar Washington Hospital Center, the Da Vinci robot is guided by a surgeon removing a patient's prostate gland with precision and care. It's the same procedure I had last month to treat my prostate cancer. Almost there. Here we go. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death for men in the U.S. When it's caught early, the survival rate is nearly 100%. But when the disease is detected in advanced stages, the survival rate drops to 37%. That's why I've been so transparent about my journey to help raise awareness about cancer screening and the importance of early detection. She'll be uh, taking care of you, getting you set up. My surgical team was led by Dr. Jonathan Wong, the chair of urology at MedStar Washington Hospital Center. Hello. Good. The procedure is called laparoscopic robotic prostatectomy. Now, a mainstream treatment option for almost all men going under the knife for prostate cancer. It is the gold standard now. Rather than using surgeons' hands, we're now using robotic assistance, and that affords much more precision and also safety and faster recovery for men. Is the robot doing everything? Are you controlling it from someplace else? The robot is actually docked onto the patient, and robotic instruments will execute the surgery at surgeon's direct supervision. What are some of the benefits of robotic surgery over radiation for some cases? Number one, in surgery, there's never need for any hormonal therapy as part of that treatment. And, and number two is that, you know, when you do remove the prostate, you do eliminate the possibility of cancer ever forming again within the prostate gland. A lot of times men will delay the treatment because of the fear of the potential side effects, you know, the risk of that decision is that if the cancer grows outside of the prostate, I always tell men that what used to be a very, very simple surgery, now we had made it much more complex. Well, six weeks after surgery, as I've mentioned before, I'm cancer-free, which is wonderful. Like all post-treatment patients, I will continue to get screened every few months. Uh, Robotic-assisted surgery is typically covered by insurance, but as with any surgery, there are risks, including bleeding and infection, although the risk for bleeding with this type of surgery is minimized. The surgery can also lead to some side effects, like impotence and incontinence, which can usually be treated with medication and exercise. If you're considering this option, Dr. Wong says to do your homework, consult with several surgeons beforehand to come up with a treatment option that's best for you. And uh, the other option is radiation. Sure. Um, obviously, you want to consult with a radiology oncologist as well, just to determine which course do you want to take. There are lo there's a lot that goes into that. For me, I chose the yeah. surgery. I think you're right. Talk to doctors about it. Don't yes. go on the interweb. No, yes, no. Yes. Just, just talk to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll yeah. scare you. Real quick, I mean, obviously, the technology looks cool. Is it New? Uh, no, the Da Vinci uh, right. uh, robot has been around, I think, for about 10 years, right. but it gets updated every year, okay. almost every year, like oh, with new wow. software and everything, yeah. so it refines it. And the reason to use it is because it's much more precise mm -hmm. than the doctor sure. trying to get his hands into areas where everything's kind of crowded together. Yeah. So yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Technology. Amazing. Yeah. You yeah. Know. Most importantly, you're cancer-free. I'm yeah. cancer-free. Right, that's right, that. which I awesome. love. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you very much.